Hello everyone. Uh, as I was pretesting the new AMD Ryzen 5000 CPUs, uh, I came across an issue that's somewhat troubling and has implications for extreme overclocking. It should be pointed out that so far this has not been found to be an issue during normal ambient conditions. And this is one of the key reasons why I still do uh, extreme overclocking. I still enjoy it. As, um, uh, it helps you find issues that you normally wouldn't find. In many cases, those issues do eventually start affecting regular users under regular conditions, ambient cooling and the likes, uh, such as voltage regulators being underpowered or other uh, parts of your system not having enough margin. Anyhow, uh, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So here we have a 5800X, eight core, 16 thread CPU, uh, single CCD um, that we cooled with liquid nitrogen, uh, minus 190 degrees or so Celsius. And during these conditions, we can set quite high voltages. Um, and we're gonna slowly start going up in frequency here. Um, we don't really know where this uh, this limit of the CPU is, right? We expect somewhere around 6 gigahertz plus. Um, and we keep increasing the frequency here by increasing the ratio. We're already at like 5.8 gigahertz, 5.9. Uh, so far, so good. Okay, there we have 6 gigahertz, 60, 50 even. And we keep going. Oh, 61, 60. What? This was easy. Uh, have to pause here for a moment. See, okay. That's pretty good. Let's see. I guess we can keep going. <clears throat> uh, you'll also notice here that the reference clock has been preset to 110 megahertz. Uh, so we're here at 2270. Okay, let's start getting some validations here for the record database. Uh, 6380. Okay. Um, well, we'll just keep going. 6.4. Okay, this is uh, really good here. Uh, and please ignore any artifacts here. There were some issues with the speed of the system we're using to record this. And oh, 6.5 gigahertz. Uh, this is going a little bit too good. Um, and one thing to note here is that actually the highest ratio we can set on a SEM2 or SEM3 CPU at the moment is 63.75x. And we're kind of reaching that limit now. We're at 6.6 .6 gigahertz. I mean, this is for an AMD CPU. Uh, the SEM2 uh, CPUs were doing maybe 6.1, like a really good CPU. Um, and 6.6, .6, well, we just keep going. 6.7. Um, and eventually we'll max out here at uh, over way over seven gigahertz, and it just it just doesn't seem real, right? <clears throat> so is it real? Uh, let's find out. My idea on how to measure this was to look at the effective clock frequency um, value available in hardware info. Um, it measures a counter in the CPU, which increments every time the CPU is active and actually executing something. Like each clock cycle, it, it actually runs. Um, this allows you to get an, an somewhat of an average frequency that the CPU is ap operating at. So for example, if it's running at one gigahertz for half a second and um, two gigahertz uh, for another half a second, the average over that one second will be 1.5 gigahertz. <clears throat> and um, the way that uh, clock measurement works in CPU-C, for example, and by default in hardware info is that it's reporting the uh, applied ratio and multiplies it by the measured reference clock. So it's not actually measuring the frequency, it's more reporting the set value. 
And as you can see here, I'm loading the CPU with the uh, uh, Cinebench R15 single thread on Core Zero, and it's stuck at 6.04 gigahertz, even if the ratio is set that uh, and should be uh, 6.24 gigahertz. Uh, so the frequency is not real. There's an issue with the clock generation for the CPU core where uh, there's a limit to it. So we sit here, we set the frequency below 6040. It starts going down again, so the adjustments work. But we set it above 6040. And yeah, it just seems it, 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 there's a cap on it. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's there's a problem with the CPU <sighs> clock generation here, <clears throat> uh, which means that we can't really trust any CPU validations, at least on uh, this platform. Possibly Sun 2 as well, as far as I know, the uh, configuration is very similar. Um, for regular benchmarking, it's it's fine. Uh, you'll be able to tell if you're actually reaching uh, a higher score or not. You, you'll see if the performance is there or not. But for validations where you measure, well, uh, record uh, the max frequency, then yeah, uh, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> so unt until there's uh, any Update from AMD, I guess, to solve this problem, then uh, um, yeah, be wary of uh, CPU violations on this platform. <laughs>